I'm guessing you're either one of those people who slept through history classes and has no idea what a pharaoh is, or you're a nerd who knows way too much about them. Regardless, keep watching this video on the top 10 greatest pharaohs from ancient Egypt. You are sure to learn something from here. Number 10. Akhenaten Akhenaten, also known as Amenhotep IV, was an ancient pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. His rule lasted from 1353 BC to 1336 BC. However, he was not very popular with his people due to the unpopular reforms that took place during his rule. The Egyptians had been used to worshipping a large variety of deities, but Pharaoh Akhenaten tried to change this religious custom to monotheism, the worship of only one god. You've probably guessed it, the people didn't fancy that idea very much. His chosen god was Aten, a kind of solar deity related to the sun god Ra. The people and future pharaohs were so very pissed by the change that after his death, they destroyed his statues and went back to their old gods and method of worshipping. He was wiped off the list of kings and almost no trace of him was left until the discovery of the remains of Akhenaten. When his son Tutankhamun came into power, he reversed his father's religious reforms. Number 9. Djoser Djoser was a pharaoh of the 9th dynasty and also known as the founder of the Old Kingdom. He ruled between 2630 BC and 2611 BC and is best known for his contribution to constructing the famous limestone step pyramid at Saqqara. The monument is an example of great technological innovation. This might be shocking to you normies, but the pyramid was made to protect Pharaoh Dozier's tomb and was created by stacking up huge limestone blocks in the Mastaba fashion. The stones have inscriptions carved on them, and the building is a great example of a smart form of architecture that did not lose its stability despite its height. The structure was completed after Djoser's death by his official Imhotep. Number 8. Khufu Khufu, also known as Khnum Khufu, was the second pharaoh of the 4th dynasty. He belonged to the Old Kingdom and ruled from about 2589 BC to 2566 BC. There's not a lot of historical text describing his reign, but his greatest contribution to the Egyptian civilization was the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. If you haven't heard of that, you need to come out from under the rock you call home. It's the largest and oldest of the pyramids at the Giza complex, with a pretty remarkable architecture that speaks for the flawless construction techniques used in ancient Egypt. The pyramid is made up of mud bricks and limestone and was built as a mortuary structure for the Khufu himself. It has the grand gallery and three chambers and is believed that the chambers were filled with precious jewels and artifacts that have long since been pilfered. Number 7. Cleopatra VII Cleopatra VII, or Cleopatra Philopator, was the last pharaoh of the Ptolemaic kingdom and the daughter of Macedonian general Ptolemy I. Soter. She ruled from 51 BC to 30 BC, during which she proved herself to be an eminent leader. The Egyptian kingdom prospered under her rule, as various reforms were introduced to improve the kingdom's economy. Her personal and political foreign relations proved to be of great value to the kingdom and led to very prosperous foreign trading. She's also remembered for her wealth and her skills in political manipulation. As Egypt's pharaoh, Cleopatra controlled some of the nation's largest industries at the time, such as wheat, papyrus, and unguents, which gave her an approximate annual income of 12,000 to 15,000 Egyptian talents. Her net worth has been estimated as high as $95.8 billion. However, she had borrowed heavily from foreign leaders to finance the many wars she waged during her reign. Number 6. Thutmose III Thutmose was the heir to the 18th dynasty of Egypt and the stepson of the previous pharaoh Hatshepsut. His reign lasted 54 years, but his contribution to Egyptian civilization is still considered one of the greatest. Popularly known as the Napoleon of Egypt, Thutmose III had a wide list of accomplishments and military achievements. The expansion of the Egyptian kingdom under his reign was noteworthy. He was also considered a great warrior who fought many enemies to protect his kingdom and its people. He contributed greatly to the construction of many sites, and his most famous contribution was the temple at Karnak. One obelisk from his temple was re-erected as the obelisk of Theodosius in Istanbul, Turkey. 
enjoying how regular items are being made smarter? Before we move on to the next item on our list, ensure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to find more tech-related videos. Number 5. Xerxes I Xerxes I, popularly known as Xerxes the Great, was the fifth king of the Persian Achaemenid dynasty. He was Darius the Great's kid, and he ruled from 486 BC to 465 BC. He's pretty popular in history for his attempted invasion of Greece in the Battle of Thermopylae. Pick up a history book, Joe. It won't kill you. He was later defeated at the Battle of Salamis, not those Salamis, which caused him to flee his kingdom. He's known as a Persian ruler and a pharaoh because he ruled Egypt when it was also part of the Persian Empire. He was assassinated by his commander of the royal bodyguard forces. Regardless, his kingdom's estimated worth is $420 billion. Number 4. Tutankhamun If you haven't heard of any ancient Egyptian ruler, you definitely should have heard of King Tut, and he is one of the most famous pharaohs of all time. He rose to the throne at the age of 9 or 10, but his rule only lasted about 10 years, from 1332 BC to 1323 BC. Although the young king introduced many religious reforms, he was not quite prominent for his achievements as a ruler. It didn't help that his dad messed up big time. His fame comes more from the discovery of his nearly intact tomb. Tutankhamun's death is still a matter of controversy, as no conclusions have been drawn as to how he died. But his mummy was important for Egyptologists to conduct valuable research into the process of mummification. His wealth is immense as his coffin's interiors are made of sheet gold, weighing 110.4 kilograms, worth about $1.5 million now. Number 3. Amenhotep III Amenhotep's rule is remembered as one of artistic glory and prosperity, which sounds like something that Shakespeare wrote in his books. Amenhotep III was the ninth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, whose rule lasted from 1391 BC to 1353 BC. He greatly impacted Egypt's economy, which boomed under his leadership thanks to healthy trade relations. His reign was a period of unprecedented prosperity and artistic splendor, when Egypt reached its peak of artistic and international power. He also contributed significantly to the field of art by building many statues, stone scarabs, and monuments that are still in good condition today. Many texts were found carved on these scarabs during excavations depicting various historical events. He is credited as the pharaoh with the largest number of his statues. He kept all the money within the family, so when his mother, who controlled most of the wealth, died, he became head of the family, giving him a total wealth of four to six trillion dollars. Number 2. Ramses II Ramses II was the third pharaoh of the 19th dynasty and one of the greatest pharaohs of the New Kingdom of Egypt, as he was often called the Great Ancestor. Ramses is believed to have had a victorious military career, which benefited the kingdom greatly. He led several military expeditions and conquered many enemies, like the Syrians, Nubians, and Hittites. It's believed that no pharaoh has ever surpassed his architectural triumphs. He built many monuments spread all over Egypt that are now a proud part of Egyptian heritage. His contributions continued after his demise when his remains were sent to archaeological authorities in France for restoration. The Egyptian officials had to issue a passport for the deceased pharaoh's body to assure a legal and safe return. Proper documents were prepared with a passport with King Deceased written as his occupation. The mummy was received at the airport with every military honor due to a king. How weird and cool is that? Number 1. Hatshepsut Hatshepsut bags the title of the most successful female pharaoh to rule the kingdom of Egypt. To rule as Egypt's first female pharaoh, she worked hard to convince her subjects that her reign was the will of the gods. She had control of gold mines with an output that would be worth $2 billion today, and she remains the richest female head of state in Egypt's history, according to Kara Cooney, an Egyptologist at the University of California. Hatshepsut was the fifth ruler of the 18th dynasty of Egypt, reigning from 1478 BC to 1458 BC. After her husband's death, Hatshepsut took over the throne and reigned for over 21 years. 
she accomplished much more than many other pharaohs could have done during their time on the throne. Everything was done smoothly, from initiating countless construction projects to establishing routes for foreign trade, and the people enjoyed peace under her rule. What are your thoughts on these great rulers of ancient Egypt? Let us know in the comments section below which of them piques your interest. And you don't want to miss this next video.